Let's read the Bachelor's Gates. Okay, Akali Shroud, W cooldown down. This is completely useless. Um, completely, completely useless. Um, initial damage. Okay, 30, 30 up initial damage on rank 1. It's pretty fucking big. Second cast minimum damage. This doesn't matter too much. It's very rare that you are playing fighting using this for minimum damage, so I don't think this matters. Second cast maximum up to 30. Okay, AP scaling remains the same. Cooldown up. Uh, eesh. Cooldown up. I, I think these changes don't fucking matter, bro. It might be good for lane. What do you mean it might be good for lane? You never put points in W. You max it last. If it was 16 seconds down flat, I think it would have been a really big buff. But you max this last, so... It's, uh, it's pointless. Aurora. To be honest, I'm kind of out of loop on what happened with Aurora and where she landed. I, I don't know where she landed. Uh, I am so uh, focused around pro play that Aurora has not been interesting to me at all. Uh, it's just not what I do right now. Like, uh, I am in the loop about pro play. Uh, let's see what, how, how they how they percent per level. Bone smooth per spirit. AP scaling, okay. Recast cooldown, 0.1. Q2 can no longer miss its original target, okay. Cooldown up. Invisibility break and auto attack will now happen on launch about a second to the pre-attack. Oh, that is a pretty fucking big nerf. That is a pretty, good, pretty big nerf, but also kind of crazy that uh, it was like that in the first place, that it's pre-attack. Like, that it was like... Wait. Oh, never mind. I misunderstood. This is a buff. This is a buff. This part is buff. Okay. This is a buff. This is a buff. I misunderstood it. I, I understood it as that the invisibility breaks when the auto lands. But the visibility breaks now when the auto flies. All right. 800 speed, 15, 2x move speed. The weirding. Oh, this is going to trigger some people. No, I'm kidding. No politic here. No politic here. <laughs> All right. 800 speed, 15 times 2x. This is just uh, a flat out buff. No? This is just a flat out buff. Uh, 2x move speed. It's like you buy shoes and this is faster. Okay. R between worlds, damage down, AP scaling down. Okay. I'm going to be honest. It's hard for me to judge how impactful this is or how OP she was. I'm out of the loop. I'm out of the loop. So forgive me for not giving any insight here. I will talk about her more when uh, she will actually you know, be ready for pro play. Aurelion on Soul. Cost per second, they, 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 uh, the W change. Damn, the W buff is reverted. The W, the W buff is reverted. This was kind of crazy, especially when I realized that you know you you're maxing W second. Um, it seemed like the balance change they made was surrounding like Emacs. I think if 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 they made so you had to max E second instead of having the freedom to max W second, I think that the balance would be easier to do. Uh, but okay, another nerf. Another nerf. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, mana, mana goes down, okay. Mana goes down. That's kind of sad because you're buying our change of the most games. I wonder if this is going to make people want to go Doran's Ring start. But mana per level cut. It's sad for 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 I change you. Okay. Mana cost in decreased, okay, by five per rank. Are they trying to make Cassio not buy Archangel? Is that what we're seeing? Because this you max is second, Noxious Blast. And mana goes down, but mana up high, uh, earlier, and then mana goes down on W as well. Mana costs 40. They are really, really pushing this champion to not want to buy Archangel. Does that make sense? 
What kind of benefit do you get from anything else? It's like Blackfire Torch. I, I, I don't know. AP scaling down on poison bonus damage. I don't know. Like, why, why would you want to not buy, like, Archangel on Cassie? All the other items suck ass. There is no benefit of this. Seraph is still the best item for Cassio, so I think these changes don't fuck him at all. I don't see a world where you would want to buy Ludens or Malignant or anything else, because this is still going to make you need a mana item. I think Archangel is still going to be the buy, so I think these changes don't matter. And if anything, the mana growth uh, down is just sad, I think. It's just sad. Bro, and AP scaling down on Q as well. What the fuck? The only benefit, maybe, is you can start Doran's Ring and still maybe find Lethal Angles with the 40 E mana cost. That's the only thing. But I don't think this makes me excited about Cassio. Ezreal, Q damage decreased. All right, so we're back to page one because they gave a 10% AD scaling. Um, considering the items that are in the game, I think this makes sense. I think Ezreal is very optimized in terms of builds, so I think it's good. Are you lying, Golub? Let's let's see. Well, lying is a bit harsh, but let's see. I thought Seraph doesn't care about. Oh, it is current mana. <laughs> it is current mana. Golub is right. Yeah, I don't think this matters. Golub is not lying. I don't think it matters. I think Ezra deserves nerf. I think that's fine. Health region and health up, down, okay. All right. I don't care about Aurelia. I don't think this is interesting. Magic damage down, magic damage. So this de decrease her damage. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I feel like her W block is what needs to be nerfed. And it's synergy with, uh, with like uh, Aftershock. Nerfing her damage, especially like in the later stages rather than early stages, I think it doesn't matter. I don't know, the Leona's still fucking strong. Palm me with this shit. All right. Joao Blade have cooked and found themselves an incredibly scrumptious build with Spirit of Surge and Leandis Torment. Someone tell Milky Way, bro. Somebody fucking tell Milky Way. All right. Base damage E increased scales with bonus AD and less AP. Damn, they really, really, really are trying so hard, guys. They're trying so hard not to fuck AD build Shivana while nerfing the AP one, which is so difficult. <laughs> it's a challenge. R power damage, the base damage is up, but the AP scaling is down, and it's scaling more with AD. Wait, our empowered damage over time, 15% bonus AD. Bro, what if you go like Shojin into BT or some shit now? It's just AP, you're going to just play AP Shivana with AD items. Why would you care? Bro, you're still spitting fire, bro. Just buy AD items. <laughs> <laughs> just go Shojin into AD just buy more AD but well, look 50% bonus AD and flat damage up our empowered damage is 100% total AD and AP nerfed 100% total AD with a flat damage increase of 25 Bro, we're going to see some wacky Shivana, like wacky Shivana, pure AD builds, bro. Oh, yo, I'm the baby pig. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you very much, my man. I owe you something, baby pig. 
I've been waiting because you said you're leaving on Tuesday. Thank you very much. I'm the baby pig. I'm the baby pig wants me to review the NRG game. We need to find the time to do it still. But I, I, you were, you were cooking. Thank you very much for the 10 gifted. Not today. I don't want to do it today the way. So you're good. You're good. All right. All right, guys. The slowly incremental buffs of Skana to bring him back after headshotting him. Head growth. Damn. Mana cost. Damn. Can no longer grab units behind them. Holy. They nerfed him again. <laughs> this interaction was so dumb. I complained about this perma on stream. I hated it. All right. Silas armor up. Cooldown. Down. Damage. Down on the explosion. Okay. Kingslayer heal. Bonus health. Bonus health. Bonus health. Huh? What? They are turning. What? What is this? Bro, I think if... At this point, just nerf his mana cost, though. Nerf his mana cost and let him be a top laner. Just nerf his mana cost and let him be a top laner. This is not a mid laner anymore. This is a top laner. Nerf his mana cost and let him be a top laner. Period. Be done with it, man. Okay. All right, this is a nice buff. You can always Q auto then, no? Always Q auto. I think this sucks, by the way. Like this is this. I I I think it's whatever. Like I'm supposed to get excited about five percent bonus health when they got the AP scaling on fucking everything. Like this is just tragic. All right, bottles. Attack lady up. Minion kill attack speed. Up. Champion tank down attack speed up. Attack speed cap 3 0. On hit damage nerfed. Well, to be fair, I think Varos top lane was indeed kind of crazy. This was not an this was not an AD carry champ. I think I think top lane Varos was the only thing that was useful. The other day someone told us about, told us about Solari Malignant's Varos, bro. <laughs> I blinded quiver, this damage is very high. This is what people max first right now. But honestly, yeah, they just want you to max a different spell, but this this is a big nerf. This is a big nerf. Will this get the Tardy Varos back? No, not at all. All right, let's see the Yasu buffs. Armor 2, all right, that's pretty decent. E damage, 10 plus bonus AD, okay. Bonus damage per stack, 25%. Okay, that's decent. Okay, all right. These are fine buffs. These are fine buffs. Mortal Steel. Q. Buff. Yon is getting buffed? Okay. Like, I don't think he's OP in pro play, but I'm surprised he's getting buffed. 10 seconds, nerf. I need to see what's happening to items because items are getting nerfed. Maybe the items are headshotting him. So let's, let's, let's chill, okay? All right. Shuriken up. Five damage up on Shuriken and 20 on max rank. 
is kind of neat. Kind of neat. But bonus 80 is down and cool on up. Last patch, that about gave me the power level we wanted, but want to further adjust his power curve. We like his strengths and respects more in lane dominance and less about being a late game scaler. All right. Okay. This is like a rebalance change. This is a balance change. I don't think this is a nerf or buff. Like they are, they are giving him more power early to be weaker later, which I think is all right. You know, it's all right. Last last buff I buffed. There was someone in chat laughing at me for saying that the the, the Z buff is uh, significant. You know. All right, armor ten. Okay. I still don't see when you want to buy this over like GA. It's it's hard to 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 imagine. You know. There's like some fringe cases where people can live steal or whatever that can be good, but all right. Kraken Slayer was retooled to be an early game gambit. If ADC want to skip out on crit chance and lower the three item TTS, they could pick up a Kraken instead for some early priority. Turns out the opportunity cost of skipping Kraken is too high and it's too strong for these champions. We're lowering Kraken's damage for range users, specifically reducing the degree to which they can permanently keep melee champions and help pawns reach. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is like Twisted Fate, Ash. There's definitely some champions that get giga hit by this, bro. This is this is a big nerf, bro. It's a really, really big nerf. Lucian is another one for sure. Tristana. I, I wonder if these champions will just pivot their build into going the BF Sword starts, you know? Why they nerf Kraken for? I think they explained it pretty well, and I think it makes a lot of sense. It's like picking, buying Kraken early should come with some kind of a trade-off. But Kraken is so strong that the trade-off is, is minor, you know? I hope the static ship gets nerfed too then. LDR, armor pen down. Damn. Okay. Big buff to tanks. And more a reminder, we'll have... The pen, 35% pen. So L Mortal Reminder and LDR has same pen. Damn. You only lose 5 AD for the penetration. I think that that's um, really big. Like, uh, Mortal, Mortal Reminder will be bought so much. Like, this will be bought so much now because there is a lot of random healing. This is like trading 5 AD for Grievous Wounds, I think, is an easy, easy trade. Is the walkouts in LCK or in LPO? Okay, we have it. There's fucking no downside to having the... Let's finish this real quick. Static ship on on the gold up, I think that makes sense. I guess this will be both perma now. Static ship, 100 gold up. Honestly, this is enough that makes sense to me, bro. This is such a cost-efficient item. I think this will still be bought, though. I still think it will be bought. I think this enough is very deserved. It's a good enough. Good change. Storm Raider bonus. Squall range modifier. What the fuck is Squall range modifier? What the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck does that mean? That the range damage uh, is, is, is uh, normalized? I think this item is still fucking garbage. Cosmic Drive. HP up. Move speed. Rebalanced. Wait. Wow. Wow. This is a nice buff, dude. This is a nice buff. Okay. This is a nice buff. What happens to Blade of Ruin King then? What is Blade? Nothing happened to Blade of Ruin King, guys. So this change is completely useless. Where's Blade? There's no Blade of Ruin King nerf! Oh, the oh, change! All of the champions were just by Blade! We will see Zeri Blade, Lucian Blade. Uh, Yon Blade. There's no Blade nerf. 
Who cares about Kraken? Just don't buy Kraken. Just buy Blade. Just buy Blade. Hello, Blade. All right. Cosmic Dry Buff, nice. Rocket Belt, nice. Bro, they just want all HP. Like, H, there's just more HP. That's such an uninteresting stat for all these champions that are suffering. Five up. All right. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Now, this is a big buff for AP Mages. New Magic Mantle. Okay. Mercury Threads Nerf. Big buff. Big buff for AP mid laners. Big buff buff. This is good. This is good. All right. Makes sense. Summon a haste. Makes sense. Okay. I like these shoe nerfs. I'm not going to lie, guys. I like these shoe nerfs. I like these shoe nerfs because too many boots win the lane phase. Too many boots. So I like it. Picasso. Steel caps up 200, bro, is a massive change for top lane. It's also a massive change for mid lane. I do think it makes sense to make Tabi into a scaling shoe. I think this is a good change. This is a good change. I think it makes a lot of sense, guys. This boot change, I think it's very healthy for the game. I think they had to boost buff Tabi. If, if they increase the gold and don't buff Tabi, this, this fucking shit would be useless. I think this is a very good change from Riot. I think it's a very good direction. I like this a lot. Too many lane phase get nullified from shoe purchases. Wit's end. Who cares about this change? I think this is ass. I hate this item, Wit's end. It's just such a goofy item. I'll make area radius. I'll make magic to the shred. Wait, what? What? How? How does this item work? I, I don't understand. Why nerf mercs? Bro, futures market doesn't work, mate. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Wait, what? Thirty percent MR reduction. 30% bruv 30% That is crazy bro But it makes me think about the silence from before bro You just buy this item on silence no? Instead of pen item every time This is a massive This is a bit so massive broken okay, mate This item looks so OP to me I think this item looks unbelievably broken to me Really broken Take down reset. I think Doc, it's just okay. It is what it is. Wait. Eight to hundred ten. Following stat progression multiplier. Five to hundred twenty. Okay, so nerfed it early, make it better later. Makes sense, okay. I think they could have just nerfed it early. This I, this rune was pretty broken later anyway. You don't need to fucking give it any compensate, but fleet footwork is a rune that kind of ruins the game. All right, fun patch, exciting patch. But I think Blade the Ruin King will just be the new flavor of the month. And then everyone will run around with the Blade Ruin King. But then everyone's going to buy a Mortal Reminder, so it'll be fine. Because everyone's going to cut healing, because what's the point? You would trade 5 AD for Grievous Wounds every time. Um, this, I think this change is the biggest change to AP mid laners. But I still think that the Lost Chapter items are too shit. And Blade the Ruin King will be the new uh the, the new goat i do think that static shiv is chilling i think this item was so op and i think this is still fine this is still perfectly fine